Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at working with control points with inverse kinematics. I'm working in Flash CS5 here. These techniques also work in Flash CS4. I'm going to start by creating a project. I'll just choose an ActionScript 3 project, even though we're not going to actually use any ActionScript here. And I'll start by creating an oval. Then I'm going to go to the Bone tool here, click in the middle of the oval, and click, drag, and release to create a bone. Go back to the middle again, get that plus sign. Click, drag, and release. Go back to the middle again, wait till the cursor has a plus sign in it. Click, drag, and release. And click, drag, and release. And there we've created a simple armature. I'll go to the Selection tool. and just move these bones and you can see that they're controlling the shape. Now I'm going to go to the bind tool. And the bind tool is used to associate control points with a bone or remove control points from association with a bone. You start by selecting a bone, it turns red and the control points associated with that bone turn yellow. I'm going to control plus just so you can see this a little better. So this is the bone, it's red, and these are the control points associated with the bone. There are four of them, including the one right at the end of the bone. The highlighting around these control points is square. That indicates that these control points are only associated with this one bone. If I want to disassociate a control point from a bone, I can do one of two things. I can hold down the control key and click that control point and it stops being associated with the bone. To reassociate it with the bone, just hold down the control key and click it again and it's associated once again. You can also hold down the control key and draw a selection box around several points and they will all be disassociated from the bone if they were associated or if they were not associated, they would be associated with the bone. So again, I just drag that selection box out while holding down the control key. Another way to associate a control point with a bone is to hold down the shift key. So I'm going to hold down the control key here first and unassociate this point, then hold down the shift key and click, and it associates that point. And the thing about the shift key is you cannot unassociate a point with the shift key you'll only be associating points. So going here, you can see that there are several control points there associated with this bone. And all the control points are only associated with one bone. So let's take a look at this. Let's go to this bone, hold down the shift key, and click this control point. I'm going to control plus so you can see this better. So that control point is triangular, indicating that it is now controlled by two bones because it was already controlled by this bone and I added it to this bone. So now if I go to the selection tool, I'm just going to control minus to make this a little smaller. This bone moves that control point, control Z that, and this bone also moves the control point, but each one has only partial control over it. So that's the bind tool used to associate and disassociate control points and bones. The subselection tool can be used to actually add a control point. Just select the subselection tool. I click anywhere here first just to make these control points visible and then just click anywhere where there is not already a control point and a control point appears. Let's go back to the bind tool, select this bone, and you can see that it has completely associated that point with this bone. Now if I go to the selection tool and move this, I've got a slightly different type of a movement and a slightly different shaping of the shape because of that new control point. I'm going to control Z that. 
Also with the subselection tool, I can completely delete a control point. So just click there. There's my control point. I select that. It turns red. And just hit the delete key. And it disappears. And I can click again and create another control point. Notice that there are three red boxes associated with the control point. I'm going to control plus here to make this a little larger again. The middle box is the control point itself, and I can use the subselection tool to just move that control point. The end boxes are the handles of that control point, and they change the shape of the curve without actually moving the point itself. I'll control minus. Just try moving this bone here with the selection tool. So you can see having moved those handles changes the shape again. So that's a brief introduction to working with control points with inverse kinematics in Flash. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this has been helpful.